Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, out on another walk. And this time, well, alone, I'm with a bunch of lovely other walkers. I'm just outside Crawley in Tilgate. In fact, I'm in Tilgate Park, and I'm here with Liz Berry from yes. Liz B Wellness. Yes. And this is your walking party. That's right, yes. Hello, Liz. Hello. You invited me to come along and join your lovely group um, a while ago, actually, in the in the sort of end of the winter. It was a bit yeah, dark then, yes. You <laughs> did suggest come in the uh, in May when uh, things are lightening up and uh, the plants are looking great, and it's uh, you picked a wonderful day. So did. I'm going to I'm going to ask you because I'm sure all my lovely viewers would be interested in a walking group and uh, how it all got started, and. Um, the merits of of walking itself. Yeah, could you explain first of all, Liz, where where we're walking? Um, well, this is Tilgate Park, um, lovely, beautiful resource in Crawley. It's just so fantastic to have this on our doorstep. Beautiful lake and just lovely trees and everything. It's just beautiful. Um, love coming here um, to walk, to run, cycling. You know, it, it's a brilliant resource for everybody. Why did you set up the, the walking group, uh, Liz? Um, well, it was just over a year ago. Um, I watched a television programme, um, Trust Me, I'm a Doctor, and they were talking about the health benefits of walking um, and particularly how it can help um, people with diabetes to actually um, get their levels um, back down to healthy levels again just right. by introducing walking. And I'd been trying to think of what to do for a while I could do and it's uh, as a sort of a social thing as well so I thought well this sounds like a really good idea um, set up a walking group um, and I started on a Thursday afternoon um, back in January 2017 um, so we've just had our um, we've just been going just over a year um, because it was in January I thought I'd start in an afternoon because it was a bit dark obviously in the evenings yes. um, and and that was really successful um, quite a few people coming regularly but lots of people who couldn't come in the afternoon because it were work or whatever said can you set up an evening one and that had always been my idea yes and um, so um, once the evenings got lighter um, about this time of year, last year, I introduced the evening one as well. Um, and um, the people that I found here are from a mixture of things. They're from people I already know. Um, they're from clients from my business. And they're also um, people from a uh, group called Next Door, which is like a sort of social media type thing. But oh, okay. it's for local areas, so you can ask for recommendations and stuff like that so I just put is anyone interested in joining us on a walk so a few people have come from that as well so it's been really nice I just wanted to get people out and moving and being physically more active obviously is great yeah. um, but also meeting new people making new friends it's really good for mental health as well so um, it's a win-win really just coming under a nice little canopy of I don't know what these are uh, rhododendron oh these are rhododendron there we go you see I'm I'm not very good on the, the exotics <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Crawley welcome to Crawley well it's it's very picturesque here very colorful uh, we've been waiting weeks for this and it just seems the last sort of two three weeks it's really come but tonight I think probably the most uh, stunning we've had what you're Ashley I'm Ashley yes and you're right. kind of um, Liz was telling me you're responsible for me being here oh uh, yeah I get the blame for everything oh, right. parking tickets <laughs> <laughs> speeding <laughs> fines everything because yeah. you've actually been watching the show and, and yeah yeah we've seen yeah. you a couple of times walking around Worthing and uh, just decided to uh, well, yeah, what's that chap doing with the microphone and <laughs> yeah, what's camera talking to himself down the road and uh, <laughs> someone said oh that's the bald explorer Gosh. so I thought yeah you can't can't forget that name really no well that's so we, good that's to know <laughs> so we checked you out so what do you get out of uh, the uh, the lisby well walking group uh, a couple of blisters <laughs> you know uh, a bit of chocolate at the end sometimes from Liz. Oh, well that's motivation isn't it? yes motivation um no my other half is somewhere back there um says i have to do a bit more ah lose a little bit and of... uh, yes yeah, spurs got knocked out of the champions league so i thought i've got nothing better to do on tuesday yeah. so i thought i'd come around and meet some interesting people that I probably wouldn't have met before um, and we've got all work walks of life here uh, some people are very fast hence why we're out of breath trying to keep up with these guys right and some take it at their own pace yes um, and it's just generally trying to get active 
use the park because I believe the more times that you use the park, less likely you are to have a how's it say, you know, a- absolutely put on well, it. Um, motivation in itself, isn't it? And uh, I mean, like we say, we're learning things. I mean, I think we've been doing this about a year now on Tuesday nights. I'm learning about trees, <laughs> <laughs> um, and I mean, we we even walk around here in the dark. Oh yes, um, Liz was telling me about walking around in the dark with torches. Torches, yeah. I mean, we've seen different. We've seen deer because um, obviously, if you come around here at half seven at night, it's dark, pitch yeah. black. You know, come seven January. Um, we see uh, bats. We have seen owls. Wow. Um, you actually see different sides to the nature that you probably wouldn't have seen before. Yes. Um, and again, the park gets used at night, so uh, it's all a plus. And believe it or not, we're burning calories as we speak. So. Uh, She'll probably watch this and say, good good boy, but uh, (laughs) you've got to keep them happy. That's right, absolutely. (laughs) How many times do you go round then, Liz? Um, It depends on from week to week, so we'll... Another four um, times? (laughs) Four times. Yeah. Is that that the plan? That's not the plan today. (laughs) (laughs) Would you Um, venture up into the woods? Yes. We, we do yeah. sometimes go up in the woods, yes, and, and have a little explore and go different routes um, then, but that usually we tend to do that when it's a bit drier and, and uh, we're not going to worry do you go, about do you, people Do you go out into the woods at Halloween? <laughs> that would make an interesting <laughs> one. It would be, yes, yes. And a few years ago when they had all these clowns, didn't they? Yeah. All scary clowns. Um, yes, no, that would be interesting. But yeah, we tend to be walk a bit quicker at Halloween. Yes, that's the right. Dark. I'm sure. Um, now we'll go back up to where we started um, and then have a little chat and I nearly always bring some samples, something for us to eat or drink and um, so we'll have a little chat about that and then people then decide depending on what else they've got to do this evening whether they'll head off home sometimes we'll go around again if everyone wants to or if a few people want to, it depends on time really. We try to finish about eight-ish so works out Fantastic. Well. Yeah. Well, I've thoroughly enjoyed my walk with uh, the Liz B. Well walking group here in Tilgate in Crawley and enjoying the magnificent scenery. And I can see the appeal of going around uh, an interesting park like this and watching nature change from season to season. So, um, yeah, I would recommend either joining this group or setting up one of your own and getting out there and enjoying life. Get walking. Join me again on another one. I'll see you soon. Till then, I think they're going to break out some chocolate bars or something, so I'm going to have some of that. Bye-bye.